Okay. Yeah. Okay. Y'all, we have a very special guest in the building. Okay. So before I bring the special guest up, I want y'all to put your blues in the chat. Okay. We double H and we putting blues in the chat. Okay. Let me see what we can get in the chat. Let's get it in the chat. Let's go. Do I need to sing y'all? Please we do not. We ready. No, no. We ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Let me see those blues in the chat. Okay, okay. Let me break them up. Let me break them up. Welcome to the stage, everybody. We have Mr. Hill Hopper himself. Hey, everybody. Hello. Hey, Hello. Mr. Hello. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. It's great How to are you? you? How are you? I'm so so blessed i'll tell you working really hard which is great and uh you know my u.s senate campaign is going really well we have all the momentum um so i'm excited about that and you know an, another busy busy super busy day just finished uh i gave a commencement address to a group of eighth grade graduates in oh. Western and, and, and there was so much love in the room and so much support which is beautiful and then rushing home put my son to bed, make sure he gets dinner and get into bed. And so he's in bed now. So that's good. And, okay. and now we can have this conversation. With you. <laughs> okay, great, great, great. Welcome to the building. Good I am day. Tay, Wente Talk. Um, over to my left, your right, is <laughs> Brown Skin Girl. And then right next to you on the stage is Drop the Mic. I'm Ooh. the Michigander here. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Where are All you? All right. <laughs> so mm -hmm. just the introduction. Hey, everybody, this is Hill Harper. If you did not know, um, Hill Harper is a graduate of Harvard University. Yeah. Okay. Well educated. Right. Author of at least two bestsellers, New York bestsellers. Okay. Four. Four. Ooh. Four. Four. I said at least. Four. We got Four. <laughs> Get it right. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't have to change my name to four bestsellers, okay? <laughs> also, mm -hmm. you're also a friend of Obama, um, Barack Obama, correct? Yeah, we, we, when I went to Harvard Law School, he was there. You know, I came straight as an un, from undergrad, so I was in my early 20s. He had taken about almost seven years off in between undergrad and grad school, so he was almost he was almost 30 at the time and, and I met him and I, I looked up to him and not just because he's taller than me. I looked up to him. <laughs> uh, he had a sense of purpose and gravitas. He wanted to change the world. I wanted to change the world for the better. And, and so we're the same class um, entering Harvard Law School. Now, he finished a year before me because I, I did a joint degree. So I did four years. I did Harvard Law School and the Kennedy School of Government. Got my master's in government there. So I stayed one extra year. Wow. But, Yes, we are classmates. Great. Wow. Black excellence at its best. <laughs> All right. I'm impressed. I love to see it. <laughs> I'm impressed. But you're also an actor. Yeah. Um, and all this stuff, you have, uh, you're a single father. Mm -hmm. um, you were born in Iowa. In, and then, like, you were living in California. So, like, what brought you here to Michigan? Why Michigan? So, a couple of reasons. Number one is, I mean, the most, the thing is, it's the people, the greatest people in the world live here. And there's a unique combination of grit, creative soul, and kindness that I think is unique. I, I've never been in a place that hasn't. And, but my first introduction was my roommates at Harvard were both from Michigan. Okay. One was going to Harvard Medical School. He's a plastic surgeon here in Detroit now, one of the most successful plastic surgeons in Detroit brother by the name of Dr. Charles Boyd. And then and my other roommate was a brother by the name of Brian Mathis, who was from Grand Rapids, who went to the University of Michigan and was dating um, a very legendary Detroit family. Uh, her name was Carla Diggs, Judge Diggs and Congresswoman, Congressman Diggs. And, and so um, I got to meet all these Southeast Michigan, Michiganders, Grand Rapids folks, you know, and so developed a big friendship circle. Uh, uh, Suwan Loomis, who was one of the, she was a triplet with her, her sister Amir 
And, and she was marrying this brother from Michigan State named Randy Washington, who's great. And so I just met all of these friends and they'd all said, hey, you got to move here, got to move here. And I came back to do a film project here because remember, Michigan used to have media tax credits, which we're going to yes. bring back. We're going to bring those back. OK. And um, and it reminded me how much I love the people in the place. And I said to myself, when I have kids at that time, I didn't have uh, any kids. I said, when I have kids, I'm going to raise them here because I want my kids. I would want my kids to turn out like the people here as opposed to the people in Hollywood. And um, and so my son's eight years old. I lived I've lived here in Detroit for eight years. Wow. 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 That is cool. That's is. that is that is. OK. Where are you in Michigan? I'm in Detroit. What part? The heart of Detroit, West Side, McNichols and Southfield Freeway. Oh wow! Okay, I see. I see. Okay, <laughs> I mean, I, 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 some of the people in the chat need signs as well, so we might have to meet up so I can get signs for everybody. I have my yeah, dog; have, she has a new house, so we have oh, yard gosh. signs that we want to get to people. We have a, we have thousands of yard signs that we need to distribute, get that okay. visibility up, and also if anybody has any businesses, mm -hmm. you know, we have those big four by fours that can go up in front of commercial spaces. And those give a lot of visibility. And so please, please, please. Or if you just have a business with a window, we could put tape the window signs in there. I mean, all of this is this is what a campaign looks like. Wanted to mm -hmm. meet people where they are, go into community. And so, yes, I'll drop off signs to your door. You just okay. got to let me know where. Okay. I'm I will let, let you know where. I might have to do some volunteering in the community and get those signs out because Drop the Mic did just make us aware of how important this Senate race is for the U.S., period, right? Listen, this is the most important seat in the country, and it's the first yep. competitive Democratic primary seat in, in over two and a half decades, this isn't, yep. and this is, this has been a, a real uh, point of emphasis for me because it's hard because uh, there's two things that we got to educate folks about. Number one, a lot of people don't even know what a primary is. And, right. and the primary is more important than the general election. That's the, and the reason why is because if you don't win the primary, you're not in the general. And so, you know, and mm. so that's critical. And then secondly, the U.S. Senate is the most powerful body in all of politics. My, my constitutional law professor would pound this home to us. And, and just as a quick refresher for folks, I'll try to break it down in, in less than 60 seconds. Okay. The Supreme Court rules on the constitutionality of what the U.S. Senate passes. The okay. executive mm -hmm. branch or the president either signs into law or vetoes what the U.S. Senate passes. The House of Representatives or our 13 House members here in Michigan send a bill to the Senate. They can't pass anything. They send a bill to the Senate. Those 100 people can change it, amend it, send it back, change the title, add things to it. So if you're really reductive, 100 people in this country decide where $7.2 trillion go every year. That's it. Wow. 100 people. And if we don't have a seat, like Shirley Chisholm said, if you don't have a seat at the table, bring a folding chair. Why? Because you have to have a seat at the table. And right now, and what's hard about it for me is that since no one's ever had, since we, we've never had a, a representative in the Senate mm. truly representing issues facing our community, right? Yep. no one's ever seen the result of what having a seat at that table means, meaning having a voice to get hundreds of millions of dollars, if not with a B, to get yep. allocated to issues that we are, public education, healthcare, homelessness, mental mm -hmm. health, mm -hmm. black entrepreneurship and urban entrepreneurship and investment in businesses and entrepreneurs, technology access. These are infrastructure, union jobs. Education, yeah. Education, education. Yeah, I said that earlier, mm -hmm. we need it. And so this is an yep. opportunity that's unprecedented. Yes, unprecedented, it is. Y'all, and that's why I want to shout from the rooftops and say, y'all, if we turn out, we can get a Senate seat. Yes, I was trying to make it, trying not to be too overzealous before you came <laughs> and kind of like stressing that point. But I'm like, y'all, y'all don't, y'all got to get out and vote. This is yes. so important. Register. 
Right. Representation. Right. This is what we this is what is called representation. This is what we need. Yes. At the highest level. I would yes. I would I would arguably say that this that the that this US Senate seat is more important than the presidency. Mm. I said that. I agree. I, I, I agree with you one thousand percent. Y'all are the I mean, really, y'all the lawmakers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. y'all make the law money distributors the lawmakers yep. and the money distributors and yep. the third thing is you you confirm or don't confirm lifetime appointments of federal judges yes so mm. just those three oh, things wow lawmakers confirming lifetime appointments of federal judges and distributing the money money those are the things those are the things that's an important thing press that red button that's those are the things those are the things those are the important things before yep. we get into the other questions, can you just give us the deadlines? Can you sure. throw the deadlines out to the people that's questioning, that want to know? Give us the firm deadlines. Okay, so everything is set for the ballot, right? Mm -hmm. I turned in all my signatures. I've been officially on the ballot. I'm the first African-American um, Democratic U.S. Senate candidate ballot in over 20 years, right? And so that's exciting in and of itself, but, but we can't stop there, you know? And so here's the deal. Michigan has some of the best voting rights in the country. So 40 days absentee voting, nine days in person, early voting, and then same day registration. The election day is August 6th, Tuesday, August 6th. That's the primary day. Okay. That's the big day, right? That's when we need everybody coming out. But these days leading up to it are equally important. Why? Because if we're going to increase turnout in our community, and this is what I say to people, they say, man, you got my vote. I, and I, and I, my res quick response is, okay, that's great, but I need you to bring 10 with you. Mm -hmm. And I need you to get those 10 to bring 10. Bring 10. Because yep. it has to expand. <laughs> mm -hmm. During the Coleman Young years, Yes. Black turnout was 60 plus percent. If we turned out a 60 plus percent, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. We could. We got to do this, y'all. We have to. We During have to. Obama years, turnout was 40 percent. If we turn out a 40 percent, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Are you serious? Yeah. Yes. Wow. The last Democratic primary, and this is what breaks your heart, black turnout was 10 percent. Um, yeah, no. We we and yeah we gotta people, get those numbers. I don't up. blame people because they've never seen a return on the investment of their vote. Remember, we saw right. hope and change, nothing changed. Then they got so make America great again, America got worse. So they say, what difference does it make? But they right. never had a chance to have a senator. Mm. Yeah, yeah. We need we that senator seat is woo -woo, is special. <laughs> very important. Yeah. Very important. So, so what does that mean? It means if you are, and I want to be clear with the particularly young people, or if you have have kids or if you have grandkids or whoever, right? you just have to be 18 by November 5th. So you could be 17 and a half, 17 and three quarters. It, if you're you 18 by November 5th, you can vote in this primary. You do not have to be 18 to vote in the primary. The other okay, thing is okay. misconception about people who have a record returning citizens. You can be on mm -hmm. probation and vote. You can be on parole and vote. You can okay. be in jail awaiting trial and, and vote. vote. Absentee. Oh, oh, that's very important that's to, know. to know. Yes. Yeah, because a lot of people yes. already count themselves out just assuming yep. that yes. they can't. So yeah. to know that is a felony. The age. It could be federal. It could be state. You could pr probation, parole. Virtually everyone can vote in this state if they're 18 by November 5th. Virtually everyone. There's, mm. We just have to make sure they know and know where to go. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. That's good so, to know. And I put the link in the chat also for Michigan voting information. Um, I have the one pin. I have it pinned also in the chat. So any voting information as far as registration, when you need to get to the polls, all of that good stuff is there in that link on the um voting um dot gov site okay and i'm going to share a number you know in a bit so get your cell phones ready so that you can text okay. because let me tell you something we've noticed since i had to collect you know like thirty thousand plus signatures 
and then verify the signatures, we notice that in many of our own zip codes, particularly the ones that are most economically challenged, uh -huh. um, a lot of the signatures didn't match what the Secretary of State has an address. Now, that makes sense. If you live in an economically fragile community and you're renting, uh -huh. you move on average two to three times a year. So yeah. a lot of folks mail about voting goes to three addresses ago. Yeah. So we want to make sure we reach people via text to say, hey, listen, here's your polling location. Here's your early voting location. So we want right. to stay in contact with people and we can organize through text because the one thing we don't change in our community is our phone number. Our right? phone our numbers. Right. <laughs> You're going to keep that number the same now. <laughs> that number going right. to stay the same. Right. Okay, it looks like you're going to have to rent you a couple of sprinters to be driving around. I might. And I might have to. I might have to. Right. Early I might have to put the miles on the loaner for, for a second. I, I gotta, now, now I'm getting excited of getting out here to do some volunteer work, Hill. Okay. Yeah, we, we, All yeah. righty. All okay. righty. Okay. Cameras, we got our office open on Livernois. Okay. Um, open office in Ipsy. We got an office open in Flint. We're really looking for volunteers in Flint. Um, we have office in Grand Rapids where we're looking for folks. Um, we may or may not open it, uh, you know, too many other places, but we, we okay. no matter where someone is, we can put, put them engaged, get them sure. literature, get them yard signs, get them out there knocking doors, canvassing. Um, and please, you know, social media is important. Reshare yeah, yeah. anything, anything I post. Please mm -hmm. just reshare it. You can just go down, reshare everything I've been posting because the more visibility we have, and yes. I'll be real yeah. honest right now, they throttled me down um, and basically did a mini shadow ban on me mm. um, as wow. soon as I called for ceasefire. Wow. As soon as Are I called for ceasefire. Oh, yeah. I'm not wow. serious. So, wow. So, that, so we can trick the algorithm if you go on and share my stories, if you Absolutely. share posts, anything you can do, because we'll make sure to do once that. I called ceasefire, you know how they do. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. anyone in yeah. the chat from Flint and all the other places that he um, spoke you about, got a person. if you have time to volunteer, go reach out and, and volunteer and help our the people, Senator. Okay. That's it. Yeah. Ms. Yes. Ms. V. Gordon wants to know what the address is to the office in Flint. She ready, ready. Okay. See? Okay. okay. I'm gonna get her that. <laughs> yeah. That's what's okay. up. Okay. I'm gonna have it to I'm you in two seconds. Okay. Blue well, in the while, chat. while you look it up, um, I just want to go back a little bit, I guess, to get a little bit of background. So we know, as stated, four-time winner. What was it? Was it New York? New what York bestseller. New York yeah. bestseller. So four-time New York bestseller, you're an actor. What made you get into politics? So what made you switch? My, my whole thing has always wanted to have impact and legacy. You know, my grandfather, I take my name after both my grandfathers. My, my, my grandfather's name, Doc Hill. He, he had a pharmacy in Seneca, South Carolina, where he served the black community during Jim Crow segregation. And I saw him give prescription medicine to people with eggs and chickens. They couldn't afford it. He would trade out for that and serve the community. My grandfather, my father's side, had a farm in Iowa, 88 acre farm, again, was a doctor, served the black community. Um, he was mainly, uh, they didn't call it an OBGYN. It was a family practice doctor. He was birthing a lot of babies. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and so my family, I've always been told the only reason why we're here is to serve. And so I wow. thought I was doing that as an actor because I felt like I want, you know, Harry Belafonte, Paul Robeson, Sidney Poitier, you could represent the best of a black man and the best and serve through characters. But listen, as we all know, the world has evolved and there's so much pain out there. There's so much struggle and there's so much heartache and folks aren't being represented through, mm -hmm. through the government means. And if you don't have a super PAC or a lobbyist, or if you're not a part of a special interest group and you're not writing a big check, you think you're being represented, you're not. And so when this True. open seat came up, I realized it was an opportunity for me to represent people, put people first. I'm not taking any corporate PAC money. That's why we have such a grassroots okay. campaign. I'm not taking any big special interest money. I'm not taking any money from a gun lobbyists or big oil or big pharma. I'm fighting them. And so okay. I want to represent people, real yes. everyday people, and they deserve a voice and a seat at the table. And, and, and also unions. You know, I'm a 32 year union member. Unions oh. deserve a, a seat at the table. And so yes. 
That's it. I mean, on my TV show, The Good Doctor, we're saving people in fiction. <laughs> I, as a U.S. senator, I could save people in real life. In real life. Like, real life. Like, like, like getting an education. In real life. Like getting guns off the street. That's yeah. a real thing. Right? Speaking That's of saving thing. people, what's your stance on mental health and the state that it's in in Michigan right now? Right. So we underfund mental health services to the tunes of billions of dollars. And yeah. And my, my father was a psychiatrist who worked in the prison system. He's passed on from cancer. Wow. And, and, and he, we always talk about the fact that mental health support is critical. And that's why when I talk about universal health care and getting that passed, should I remember the number one cause of personal bankruptcies is catastrophic medical. So many families can't even afford to get preventative medicine checks. And that's why cancer and other things spread so much because they're not getting prostate checked or colonoscopies or getting breast mammograms and all the things that require for preventative treatment because of the cost of medicine. And so right. One third of all GoFundMe is medical related. GoFundMe is not a health plan, y'all. And so, but I talk mm. about universal health care plus mental health. Why? Okay. Because it's, it's holistic. Also vision and dental. We need that whole 360 because right now we don't have a health care system. We have a sick care system. Our system is, is incentivized to ultimately just try to maintain people by giving them, putting them on medicine that they can't get off of their whole life, a Lipitor yes. and other things, rather than curing folks and saying, hey, if you eat this way, if you actually change your diet and, and we create communities where there's access to fresh produce and that's accessible, accessibly priced. Etc. Vitamin treatments and all the things. Exercise. You know, when we go into our communities, just I get off I seventy five to come home. I come to the corner of Oakland and Owen. All you have is a boarded up building over here, a vacant lot over here. To the right, it says Eli's Produce in faded letters right there in the corner. The next time you're there, you'll notice it. It says Irene's Market, Eli's Produce. There's a tree growing up through there. It's been closed forever, but across the street is a brand new liquor store that all you can buy are Funyuns, Fago, Werner, Hennessy, yep. the plexiglass. There's no fresh produce and, and there's a little fried food window. And so mm -hmm. and all about, that contributes to mental health. There you go. All of it's related. Yep. Mm -hmm. and, and I believe we should be spending our tax dollars. Because remember, it's our money. It's not the government's money. That's 7.2 trillion we talked about. That's your money. It's, it's my money. It's our money. Our families and us as individuals have been paying into the tax base our entire lives. And so that money should be distributed as an investment into people, mm -hmm. not being sent overseas for foreign wars, right. not being given big oil tax breaks so they can do stock buybacks. You know, all it should be invested in the people where it creates the most good and welfare. And it also creates a safety net for people because I believe most people want to do well. They want to create their own businesses. They want mm -hmm. to, to, to work. I mean, come on. Southeast Michigan, the state of Michigan, some of the hardest working people. Yes. Around, but they work in three, four jobs, can't even keep their head above water. Yeah. Because the cost yeah. of living is yeah. outrageous. I mean, think about this. I'm going to help lower auto insurance rates. Why? High country. And you know that they're discriminatory. And, and the fact is, is that we can deal with that federally with the anti-discriminant discrimination, consumer protection and auto insurance. There are people out here that have a higher monthly auto insurance note than their car note. What kind Correct. of sense does that make? None, especially in the good old city of Detroit. Right. Yeah, that makes no sense. Right. Okay. They, they purposely, yeah, they purposely. And they, purposely they haven't showed any statistics where it's why? a reason why our insurance rates are higher than everyone That's else right. in the country. That's exactly right. There is no reason. It's it's okay. it's collusion, and because the government's letting them get away with it, mm -hmm. and I guarantee you, the person I'm running against will not do anything about it. But I will, and that's that's just the difference. That's why representation matters, y'all. That's. That's exactly why it matters. It We've does. been needing that. We've been needing that. Didham, yeah. you have a question? 
Um, yeah, I was going to go ahead and pull one from the chat. Um, we had a fellow content creator in here, uh, Queen Sheba Darling, and she had a question regarding, hey, Queen Sheba, she had a question regarding um, transportation. What if people can't get to the polls? What is there something that you have in place for that or what alternatives, you know, I was joking with Tay about the sprinter vans, but what if they really can't get there? No, but that, the that's option? serious. Um, they can reach out to the campaign. See, here's the deal. During okay. those days of early voting and everything, we want to, we want to connect with people with cars. We want to connect with churches. We want to connect with people with vans. We want to, we actually want to rent cars as well because we need to transport people, transport, people, particularly during the nine days of early voting, in-person voting, because they may not know where their polling location is and their polling right. location may not be close to them. So we want to be able to take them there. So all they have to do is reach out to the campaign and the campaign will find a way to get them there. Um, we're going to do the work. Okay. Now, now um, I want to let people know what the address is. Um, uh the Flynn address is 1200 Court Street. Okay. 1200 Court across from 1200 West Court Street across okay. from, I believe there's a school uh, for the deaf there in downtown. So 1200 West Court Street. And, and that's in Flint? In Flint. And that's open every day. And that's um, C-O-U-R-T? C-O-U-R-T. C -O -U -R -T. Okay, I'll put it in the chat. The question I see, how long does a person need to be a resident to be able to vote in Michigan's primary? So listen, yeah, if you move to Michigan um, and you are legally, you know, you're eligible here, like literally you signed a lease or you bought a house and then you, you're paying your utilities, to, it's same day registration. All you have to do, you show up with the evidence that you're a resident that you're living here and you can register and vote on the same day there, there you know there's no other requirement obviously you have to have evidence that you're actually living here and living in a in a in a in a real legitimate address right. which the the different thing utility bills or if you go to the secretary of states and get a driver's license or or an or an identification card you know they make you present those those items too, like those utility bills and things with your name, seeing that your name is on them. Um, you know, you know, obviously having a lease or having a mortgage, these are all things that I believe do. But at the end of the day, this is, this is a state where you can register and vote on the same day. That's why. That's awesome. You know, that really is awesome. Early voting. If, if the person's old enough, they don't have to be registered. You just take them down. They can register and vote on the same day. Okay. That's good to know. Awesome. Before we go to the next question. Absentee ballots too, because absentee is a really strong way to vote because it makes sure you get it in. And there's a lot of drop-off locations everywhere in front of a lot of churches and other places where you can drop off your absentee ballots. Yes. Yeah, that um, was what I was going to say before you um, went on to your next question. I, someone in the chat from Flint said, you know, um, they wanted to just make sure that you was reaching out to all the churches because they really are really strong and they'll get a lot of people out to vote too. That's great. And if there's, and, and listen, we're all, this is all about doing this together. I'll give you this phone number. And then once you kind of register, sign in, um, we can, you can text us pastors, names, numbers, so we can stay in touch with them. We want okay. to be connected. Okay. Because I have a couple of people from my job that so very heavy into their churches and they wanted to get that information out as well. I have a quick question about um, what will you do when you win the seat? Um, what will you do to protect women's right in the state of Michigan, especially as it relates to reproductive yeah. um, issues? Women's reproductive health, women's reproductive freedom is a critical issue for me. You know, my mother was one of the first black female anesthesiologists in the country. And she would tell me and we would talk. She lives here uh, with me um, in Detroit. And she we talk all the time about the fact that she thinks it's shameful that in most of her life, she would have more body autonomy and more uh, freedom and reproductive freedom and now. than a young woman today. Yes. And that is ridiculous and it's wrong. Mm -hmm. and, and the government should not be getting in the middle of a healthcare provider and a patient relationship. Mm 
-hmm. And I believe folks need to have, a, you know, she talks about all the time to me. It's a, there's a sanctity to a relationship between a licensed healthcare provider and their patient. And that's that person's business. It's a private health care decisions that she's making with a licensed practitioner. Why is exactly. the government so, so it's your so, body? <laughs> it's your body to make your decisions with counsel from a licensed practitioner. Mm -hmm. Right. So we have we have to do this. And so 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 you know, listen, I'm gonna fight to get that done. And I'm, you know, here are the things. I'll just give you top lines of what I'm gonna fight for. I'm gonna fight okay. for universal, go. universal. Uh, health care, okay. including mental, vision, dental. I'm going to fight for okay. women's reproductive rights, women's re reproductive freedom. I'm going to fight for common sense gun laws. The number one cause of death of children today is gun violence. My son is mm -hmm. eight years old. It's ridiculous that we're saddling these young kids, making them do active shooter training in schools because we won't stand up to the NRA and the gun lobby and actually create safer schools, safer communities. Mm -hmm. And then also I'm going to fight to pass the PRO Act for strong unions. We're gonna give the National Labor Relations Board real teeth, OSHA real teeth. We're gonna undergird our unions. I'm gonna to fight to end Citizens United, which is unlimited dark money and corporate PAC money and special interest money in our political system. It creates a complete imbalance and influence uh, uh, that is ridiculous. I'm gonna to fight to end mass incarceration. We're only 5% of the world's population, but we hold 25% of the world's inmates and the vast majority of those people are poor. That's the only thing that they have in common. And then I'm also going to fight to end the filibuster. Now, this is a more nuanced point. If we're going to get these things that we talked about passed, like women's reproductive freedom, like, oh, I didn't mention the John Lewis Voting Rights and Advancement Act. We need to codify that. The, the Civil Rights, the Voting Rights Act of 1965 has been gutted. And we need uh. to codify the Supreme Court just last week ruled that there were 30,000 African-American votes where they allowed them to literally draw around them like a jigsaw puzzle to take away all their power. And that's ridiculous. And so, you know, we have to we have to fight on these things and and we're going to have to pass and the filibuster to get it done, because the filibuster means you have you need 60 votes to end debate to bring something to a vote. And and 51, a majority of 51 can 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 create legislation. But if it takes 60 votes to end the debate, they just threaten to debate it and they'll never come to a vote. And so we need to end that so we actually can move legislation forward, these big tentpole pieces of legislation that we need to get done. The other thing we got to do is I haven't mentioned yet is environmental. We got to stop PFOS poisoning. We got to shut down line five. Uh, there's been 31 breaches of line five. We have 21% of the world's fresh surface water supply touches the Michigan shores. And, and we're actually playing with that. Enbridge, the company who has Line 5, already poisoned the Kalamazoo River in 2010. We can't let mm. them poison the Great Lakes. Mm. Yes. yes. Uh, um, actually, coming off of that, um, I have a green energy question. Um, the governor has done a great job with bringing green energy investments to the state. How do you anticipate partnering with her at the federal level to ensure Michigan remains a leader in green energy? You know, that's a great question. What we have to do is make sure we're upskilling our union brothers and sisters to be ready for all these jobs. There's a massive need right now for skilled electricians who know how to install charging stations. You, you can't find the person. And these people are making 200, 300,000 a year. This is skilled trades. We need to upskill our trade workers. You know, they took trades out of public schools. What do you think no. that was about? What yeah. do you think that was about? I mean, the okay. thing is, there's still <laughs> such a huge need. Mm -hmm. And we need to do that so that these green jobs are great union jobs. And we have a workforce that's ready to take them on. And so to me, federal funding for upskilling workers so that we they can be positioned to have great paying jobs with great benefits that's also creating a green infrastructure. That's a triple yeah. net win for the state. It's yes. a triple net win for the families, mm -hmm. for the person, and for the community. And it helps the environment. It, yes. It's a win across the board. Solar. Yes. And you know, before you go to the next question, I, I'm glad that you backed um, unions because they are important. And oftentimes people, you know, they are afraid and walk on eggshells at work because they get 
you know, because if they're not a union job, they get taken advantage of. And so it is important to have these union jobs and to be able to feel stable in your job. And like you just said, to create green energy, you know, situations, you know, like you just mentioned, the electricians can help very much so when it comes to solar paneling and um, the um, electrical vehicles and, you know, all of that's needed. And not to mention, I live in the Northeast. I don't mind telling you, but the, you know, the, there's people, there's some, there's some people in the world that I won't mention that <laughs> um, want my information, but I live in the Northeast. I'll say that. And as you, as it pertains to the schooling, they took the, um, vocational schools out of the inner city and That's they're right. only in the outer suburbs. That's right. So to your point, yeah, we, we definitely and, they, and, and they also try to pit unions against environment. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's a whole play from the from the big, big oil corporate lobbyists. Right. Because if they can make it seem like, hey, if you go for green jobs, they're not going to be union jobs. And it's just not true. We have to yeah. fight to make sure they're union jobs because that's Absolutely. in all the communities where there's higher union membership, the, the wealth gap is lower. And 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 and. And so we have to make sure that we don't fall victim to a very it's just their playbook because they, they want to make sure unions don't grow and exist and, and, and they keep squashing you. So they try to say, oh, you're going to lose all your jobs if you go mm -hmm. to the union. It's not they true. do. Yep, they do. Okay. All right, Mr. Hill Harper, um, we can wrap it up and let you go and get to your family. Um, okay. Um, do you have any final words for the people? Well, I want everyone to get their number. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, get their phone out, please. Get Take phone your out. phone. Phone out. Get your d device out. And I'm going to give you a number to text. Please text this number. Um, this is our Win With Hill number. So it's 313-942-5500. Four four five five. That's three one three nine four two four four five five. Now, when you text that number, you're going to get a text in return from me, and then fill in the um, fill in the link. So then, then we can stay in direct contact. The campaign can stay in contact. You can ask the campaign questions. We can blast out information about where we're going to be, where we're touring, how to get lawn signs, how to engage. We're doing this. And remember, y'all, here's the power. What I noticed also when I started this campaign to win statewide, I said, well, where's all the data? And people are like, well, what do you mean? I said, we have to start from scratch. I said, how are we going to have folks winning on all levels? We got to start playing chess and stop playing checkers, y'all. So this database is going to exist. The bigger we can build it, share that number with as many people. And then when, when anybody comes to run for office, they can come and say, hey, who do you got? The, the zip codes of my district are bam, 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 bam. Who are some of the people that were engaged and who you got? Boom, here they are. And so we all of a sudden, we start building a database of, of power, right? Every candidate can't start from scratch every time. We have to build together. That's how we win collectively. Dr. King said we're all tied together in a single garment of mutual destiny. That means all of us on here right now are inextricably linked. But the beautiful thing about that, that means, yes, we will go down together, but what will we do? We will rise together. If together. we lock arms and we fight together, we win together. Absolutely. And, and that's what it is. So 313 942 4455. It's easy to remember. 313, that's Detroit. Nine, that's one before 10. 42, that's Jackie Robinson's number. 44, <laughs> that's, Barack, that's Barack Obama's number. Yeah. 55 is what you're supposed to drive on the lodge, but nobody does. <laughs> look, it was 55. I thought it was 70. Look, it's like look. it's written in invisible <laughs> ink <laughs> on the lodge. <laughs> now we're on the lodge with it. Sunglasses. Uh, we have Don and Michelle up here on the stage as well. Hello, Don. Hello, Don. Hello, Don. We want you to um add your fundraising link as well because we also support the people, and you don't have to be in Michigan to support, okay? That is true. We, we okay. Totally, 
listen, we need so much help, y'all, because at the end of the day, we're winning voters two, three to one if we can get the word out to them. So yes. many people don't even know about the primary. So many people don't know what it is. They don't know it. We got to get in front of folks through radio, through billboards, through mailers, through lawn signs, through 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 ads. We may not have the resource to do the TV ads, right? Because that's right. really expensive. But mm -hmm. we can reach people other ways if you support. Word Two dollars makes a difference for real. Yes. Mm -hmm. Two dollars helps buy half a lawn sign. Lawn signs are four dollars. Yes. Can you believe that? So yeah. so listen, but but that that's meaningful. Mm -hmm. Every little bit counts. And so you can go to hillharper.com, www.hillharper.com. That's our website. You can see and donate there. Or you can text that number 313-942-4455 and um, we'll reach out to you and we just stay connected. Let's work hard. Let's do this together. We can get it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank signing you. out. Thank you so much, Hill. You're welcome y all. Y all. back anytime, okay? All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Nice meeting you. <laughs> He's gone. Cool. I didn't even get to sing. Thank oh, God. Oh, please. Lord Jesus. Hey Dawn. We know good and well. He was hey Dawn mute. Michelle. She on mute. Dawn, you on mute. Oh. Um, I was going to kind of like blackmail Hill Harper guys. Oh my god. I was gonna tell him to rate my singing on a scale from <laughs> one to my vote. Okay. A one to your vote? <laughs> yes, a one to the vote. So on a scale of one to my vote. Mm -hmm. I was that singing, and he left before I can bribe him. Lucky it wasn't him. meant to be. <laughs> but lucky him. It wasn't meant to be, I guess. Child. Okay, how did you guys like that? Did y'all like the interview? I think I love Hill cool. Harper even more now. Yeah, he was mad cool. It, even the breakdown of the number three one three. That that's Michigan. Right. <laughs> Period. That's Detroit nine, right there. That's Detroit. Right, yeah. Right, right. That's Detroit. Nine, number before 10, 42. <laughs> and then it was the last one. 55 is the <laughs> speed limit. <laughs> right. Know, like, I'm like, I'm hmm, you might have to change that number to 4470. Okay. <laughs> and and if, if I had that suck in speed, then it's going to be 4489. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> did him. I mean, not did him, but Brownie. Why does it look like you're drinking bottle straight, uh, vodka straight from the neck? I'm like, do she got Tito's? It's Evian. It's water. Uh, I hope we'll uh, I was up here. <laughs> 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 I'm like, these, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> Like, um, if they don't live in Michigan, they can drink as much as they want to. Tay, you stay sober so you can get down to that voting poll, okay? Can you imagine how much talking nobody. he has to do every day? Like, he I, don't don't think think commencement. Out. I thought he was attending the graduation. I didn't know he was on the commencement yeah. ceremony. Right. He was speaking. Like, he has to talk, talk, talk. Until he probably closes his eyes at night, he's still talking. I would he's be so talked out. Yes. Right. Right, but he probably yes. is one of those that once he hit the pillow, he out too. He's <laughs> yes. been going Done. all day. Exactly. And also, he seems real passionate about he's very passionate the work that he wants to get done here. Absolutely. And I like yeah. that. He's not even from here, but just from him being here because of the people that he's met from here. In life. Yep. Yeah, that's crazy. Yep. It is That's crazy to hear. You gotta get them people to the poll tank. I'm gonna I'm put it on your Y'all, I'm about to start on your shoulders now. You're <laughs> gonna be on Tay's neck. Like, yep. did, you, did you get the Yo, get them on? signs? Did you get those signs? Did right. you get them for your neighbors? Did you? <laughs> yes, yes. Right. You are officially right. a Hill Harper volunteer, volunteer. for his. Of uh, campaign, we I'll gotta take get it. <laughs> I will take it. I will take it. Like did them until you um said that. <clears throat> I did not realize like how important it was for him to get this seat. Like I didn't know. I knew it was important, but I didn't know. Like this is it's a tight. This is tight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's very important. It's oh, very yeah. like and now this is giving me encouragement to get every. Yeah, it's 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 encouraging it's, it's, me to get everybody you know, that I know to get yeah. this together. 
this affects people nationwide. Like when he broke it down, if like again, it's yes, he's running for the Senate seat in Michigan, but him winning that is going to help everybody all around that is that their ideals match up with his. You under, like yeah. yes. Like have- him winning that seat is everything for real. Yeah. Yeah. It is. It is. Thank you, Bridget, for the five dollar super chat. Um, he answered your question, so thank you so much for asking. Um, and also thank you, Mimi, for the nine ninety nine super chat. Awesome job, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. The gossip girls again have joined the race for the U.S. <laughs> Senate, and we are political commentators. Commentators. Not us being political commentators, child. Yes. Any content creators in the chat, um, I'll probably clip this part for the interview just strictly out of the video. So you guys, please share it um, because um, you guys, we can get this reach out to everybody. Y'all right. know I'm here in Michigan, so I need this vote, okay? Yes. We need our people in here. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Everybody need to show up. They need to show up. Like he said, bring show 10 people in. Yep. Yes. Bring 10 yes. people in. If you can bring 10 people, if you can't bring 10, bring five. If you can't exactly. bring five, bring two. But bring right. somebody bring with you. Somebody <laughs> has to come with you if you have to yep. take them. Um, thank you, V. Gordon, for yep. the $10 super chat. Okay, Tay, you don't have to rub it in. Shout out to the uh, Detroit number 313. <laughs> I know because I said Michigan. She said Detroit. It's Detroit. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Y'all know about yeah, the y'all like Detroit. be acting like Detroit is not even in Michigan. You be like, where you from, Detroit? Like, is that yeah, it? Like, like, I'm from Detroit. Detroit. What state? Detroit. Detroit. Like his um, like his the like Detroit is the state and Michigan right. is the city. Exactly. Um, That's how y'all be acting. Everything was Detroit. Wait a minute. I got to tell y'all this this story about my friend. She called me one day and she said, girl, let me tell you how stupid. I ain't going to say her boyfriend name because she might be on here. She said, let me tell you how stupid Paul is. I said, what? She said, girl, he on the phone talking to somebody about business and they like city and state. She said, do you know this motherfucker said Hazel Park, Detroit? (laughs) <laughs> I told you, my Hazel Park is another like a suburban city in Detroit. She said, "I mean, in Michigan. Look at me in Detroit too. I'm stupid too." She's not talking about Paul. Talking about <laughs> she said, "He said Hazel Park, Detroit." I said, "I know you." Child, I'm telling you. So what speaking is- of us acting like we we on the city, we the queen of the city. That's why you mad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not V Gordon. They hit you with that little rap. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Bridget, for the five dollar super chat. I just know you haters better treat our taste star with respect because she's rubbing elbows with Don Michelle and and Hill Harper. I thought okay. you were gonna get them to come to your house. I said, "Oh, she real close." Uh, yeah, wait a minute, wait a minute. Y'all seen that volunteer already? So he'll say he's pulling up. Okay, if I gotta go get yeah, the I'll them off to you. When okay, you <laughs> I'm dropping the Addy. Okay, get the DMs right here. I'm dropping the Addy. All right, and pull up. Okay, y'all, you know, come on, I'm gonna have a nice little dinner and stuff. We're gonna do it all. I'm gonna do Be Live too. Okay, so y'all can see all the shenanigans. And for all y'all haters that think he don't want me, okay? It's the shenanigans for me. Look, he's gonna come with a whole bunch of signs. Here she is. She's gonna open the door in the lingerie. With, with <laughs> <dinner>. <laughs> Single Mr. Harper, he's gonna be like, uh, ma'am, ma'am, 
Miss Winter, I'm gonna have on the short dress like uh Melvin Monroe. I'm gonna have a fan. I'm gonna kick the fan. So it's not gonna. I'm gonna kick the fan over so I can blow the skirt up. And <laughs> 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 you were coming so I didn't need to see that bad. Bye. Right. <laughs> I'll throw them damn signs and not bust my windows up. <laughs> running, running for his life. <laughs> Y'all, don't let me go get the sun on that hill hard for a while. He's gonna be like, Mel, don't you ever. <laughs> Everywhere. I want to take those things on business and she comes to the dog down in the head. Child, dog gonna be like, not nah, to the dog gonna be like, hey, why? Right. <laughs> I, 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 I mean, y'all say he was single. I was just, you know, trying to like, oh, like this. What? Look, I'm gonna be like this. What? All I had on was. No, you. I thought I mean, he was I was a look. I ain't gonna try. Look, all I had on was. Look, I ain't gonna have on nothing. Like, I mean, I was about to put on the stuff, but he came to the group so bad. Like, he rang the door, but I just went and answered. I didn't know. Like, what are you talking about? I thought he needed a running mate. I ain't no sure. <laughs> it's all good. Y'all gotta get that man in office. I think he can really make some changes and for the for the people. He for the people. Yeah, he's, he's really he's passionate. They gonna be like, Not about to be like, Miss and tell your fine senator that I said. <laughs> <laughs> Look, and you know he a good man. His mom lived right there in Detroit with him, so he a, he treat that mama probably like gold. That's what I'm gonna say. That's what I'm gonna say. I'm, I'm just gonna come up and pick up your moms, and um, you know we're gonna go have a little spa day. <laughs> okay, I would be dropping the sun off at school, like, everything, y'all. <laughs> oh, you say you? Oh, I, I got, I'm already at the school. <laughs> like, wait, when did you get in my house to get my son? Huh? Child, he will come home, me, that son, and that mama. I'm gonna have their asses tied up. And made a whole lifetime movie <laughs> out of this. A whole lifetime movie. This man was all here, very professional. Up the I did see in the chat that you said how good I was looking. Do you think he noticed? <laughs> and then yeah, you missed it. I was up there like, uh, what's it called? It tell me who I'm like. <clears throat> Did him? Oh please. <laughs> uh, is that Courtney? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> That's Courtney's portrait. <laughs> Y'all are fools. Oh my god. Child, they had Courtney on that photo. What you say? Rest in peace, Courtney. <laughs> Rest Real. in peace, child. Real. In love and memory. That's what it need to be on there. In love and memory of Courtney. <laughs> wow, that big picture in that scene was hilarious. And she just that was was that that like peas and shit. Child, child we not gonna, we're not gonna do it. Look, I did it too from uh man too deep. Do you think the snots you can make up with them long uh long enough for them to get their people in Pontiac on board? <laughs> Child, do I, do I gotta take the signs out there? Right. How far is Pontiac away from y'all? It's about mm -hmm. an hour. Oh, okay. No, tell them to do it. I, you know what? Tell Kyle what it means. We gotta get. We gotta yeah. Call Kyle. We gotta get him in office by any means necessary. You can stop speaking after he. I'll do it. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll do it. All open before August sixth. Hey, hey, August seventh. You mother. Yes, thank you. Look at you. Link, link. No, I gotta wait till after the, the real shit. I gotta wait till after everything is final. Okay, because they've been a took. And heel. <laughs> heel what I do. Oh, I just gave the size. I'm gonna put my heel Harper. Heel, heel and Latavia Harper. Nuh uh, not you. Well, look, heel and Wente talk Harper. 
Thank you, Mary, for the $5 super chat. Okay, Tay, the interview is over. Now release our cookie before the cookie cutters have to activate. Now let me go get cookie. Oh, she told me. Oh, yeah. Don't forget about Dustin, too. Oh, yeah. He was in Dustin in Michigan. um, Yeah, he is. I forgot Carlos. Do I got to make up with Carlos, too? (laughs) And Dustin. Oh, man. And We went too far. <laughs> Dang, <laughs> all of them, so they all Michiganders. Destiny's gonna, she gonna we gotta do it for the call. Get yourself, Tay. Okay, <laughs> she ain't gonna do nothing else. She about to get some money from you. Okay. Everybody else for that matter. <laughs> Y'all money. are a mess. Miss Z said, "Leave car loose over there." Miss <laughs> <laughs> Z, we gotta get, we gotta get Hill Harper elected. We gotta put our differences to the side just for the election. Just for this, <laughs> just for this time. <laughs> well, y'all know what? Each one, teach one. How about this? I got another proposal. Since everybody loved Mel and she got a fan base. Mm-hmm. And oh, you can yeah. register as long as you live here at least the same day that you um, register to vote. How about male move here? <laughs> she can use my address. I cannot. I can't with her. I'm already done. And do right. y'all know how many millimeters will move here? <laughs> they all going to use your address? They all moving in with you? I'd right. rather do that than I got to make up with Destiny. Does not. <laughs> that's the, that's the, okay, that's the other option. I don't blame you. I, I, I don't blame you. I do the same thing. You right. Okay, Plan B. I guess it, B. it, it yeah, is. I'm with her. Say hi, Cookie. Hi, Cookie. Say she had me locked up on this GD too. I want to meet him. You want to meet him? Wouldn't let you out. Cookie. Some other people that's been locked up too. <laughs> Cookie said she was trying to get a new stepdaddy. That's that's why I had you up there. Cookie said you run every one of them away. Child. She the one that run them away. Right. Blame it, Cookie. That's called deflection. All right. Look at her squinting. What you squinting? What you looking for? <laughs> I'm just trying to read the chat, Cookie. They're speaking to you. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I gotta put cookie um it's address a- on her house so they can uh, she can vote too. Yes, register cookie to vote too. Be I'm gonna put um, a count. sign in front of her house too. <laughs> yep. I got you, Maria. You can come, Maria. Come on, y'all. You know what? Party at the crib since uh, since I already look, I already been doxxed. It's like no. <laughs> <laughs> Maria said, "Rent me a couch." <laughs> <laughs> You can get one seat on the couch. Y'all know the couch got three seats. Come get one seat. They go off for what? What you think I should do? $20? <laughs> y'all, I got enough food and stuff from Sam's Club, so we, y'all gonna eat. The way okay? she stay up in Sam's Club, y'all got enough food till next, uh, for, till for 10 next years. Election. Next daggone election. <laughs> Past that. You think she got enough food for five years to the next Olympics. Nah. And liquor. Four years in, in Olympics every four years. Let me get my Damn, I, I don't want to be like Portia with the 265 days a year now. You know what? I cannot. <laughs> Way <laughs> Simon ate her up. <laughs> Simon ain't right for that. He Y'all can ask for breakfast, lunch, and dinner with that comment. <laughs> right. Cookie will be the first pump of Michigan. Pump Aww. of Michigan. Not the first pump. I cannot. <laughs> I cannot believe it. So, did y'all see any love connection or no? Moving, moving right along. Right. I he felt was, like he, he was looking intently into my eyes. I feel like he was looking intently into that boat. Yeah. <laughs> Hill Harper well, said you trying to say you were only care. using me? So he was hypnotizing me for that boat. Not hypnotizing. Yeah. He he ain't got time for no love connections. He got a world to save here. Thank you. Thank you, American <laughs> Born. American <laughs> Born got my back. Oh my God. Why y'all be <laughs> why y'all be gassing Tay like Wait this? a minute. Wait a minute. They love gassing her. Wait a minute. No, Hill Harper's not a side dude. Wow. 
I felt he was more connected to Ditto. Ditto? What? Are you are you by yourself? Look at Keisha. And is. Okay. Um, y'all was kind of <laughs> vibing with the with the lingua, with the political lingua. I mean, you know, I have a few, I wear a few hats. I mean, hello? I'm not no sign, nothing. Uh, wait, what you say? I said he, he was going to be a side dude, okay? Because Mr. Diddle ain't going no damn where, okay? Not a place. <laughs> not a place. Like y'all, okay, so y'all did see that. He winked at me twice. <laughs> oh, Lord. Here y'all go, gassing her up again. All right, Keisha was in here. She said uh, he was watching you, Tay. Where y'all get that from? Look at Simply. He'll say strangers. Uh, he don't know if it is fine, though. I ain't going, y'all. He is fine. He cute. I, you know, I I like a man that talk real smart, and he, like I said, he was very <laughs> passionate in what he was saying. Especially when he told a little story about about Michigan and coming to Michigan, almost shed a little tear. Y'all know thugs do cry. But not only that, you know what I was most impressed with his lineage. He comes from good stock. Yeah. Doctors and pharmacists and 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 mm-hmm. owners of all kinds of stuff from back in the, like he come from good stock. That's He's good. Mother. Hate, right? But again, y'all see, mm-hmm. he graduated Harvard the year after Obama. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he did a double major. Double major. That's, that's really like crazy. that's crazy. Like yeah, that's you know how hard a double major is at a regular college. At Harvard. Shoo. Double. That's a smart guy we was just talking to. And very, very, very smart with very good lineage. And yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Somebody was a psychiatrist. There was an anesthesiologist. There was a family doctor. There was a pharmacist. Like, like they they got stock up in that in that family. Okay, black excellence, one thousand percent. It Period. was beautiful to hear. I I like to hear it. It was, you know that that I if I was him, it would make me proud just talking about my family and my family's accomplishments for real. That was very impressive. Even like the way, and he knew all of this stuff. Yes, he knew what yes. his grandfather and great grandfather did for the community and traded yep. eggs for medical um attention and things yep. like that. Yep, mm-hmm. yep. Because they knew. Say, they say people who don't know where they come from is because their lineage left them nothing for them to know. Yeah. Right. No, right. and it's not no shade, but it's like one of those where, like, when you come from greatness, them stories travel. They so, do. They absolutely you know do. Where you come from, and you yeah. and 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 they uh, repeat it and want everybody to know it. Moving down that line because that's something that they're proud of. Yeah, yeah. helping it comes in. It's in his blood. Help. Yeah. Him. You see Erica Groves' comment. She said, "Terrible Bell," well, because Tay acting <laughs> like Sunny. <laughs> they said that earlier. Remember, I said I was out gonna be sunny earlier. And then, <laughs> let me find out. <laughs> Look at simply. <laughs> simply said he wasn't work winking at Tay. That was Morse code for help. <laughs> Somebody, why is simply still commenting in this chat? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Question. It's the question. Why is simply still commenting in this chat? And simply, Mary, don't get Mary started. Simply come over to my chat. It's okay. I won't block you. (laughs) (laughs) And pop your. Thank you, Bridget J. Number one fan for the $5 super chat. (laughs) Hey, since you know Hill, call and schedule an interview with our forever POTUS and get more donors and voters. Hmm. Look. Crazy. <laughs> that would be completely crazy. awesome. It would be. You know, he wants him to win, so I can see him accepting the challenge. Chow. 
crickets. Once he no. see how crazy we are, he'll be like, mm, nah, I'll pass. Right. No, I'm just playing. Whole right, Michelle will be like, no. <laughs> and, and because and if, if, it's, if it's brown skin in that little microphone, <laughs> but not that one that's hot and ass. <laughs> <laughs> not brown skin in that little microphone. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> gonna be like, and I'm just kidding, Michelle Obama and Hill. Okay, but seriously, <laughs> right, Mary Wyatt. Really, Look, Mary what's Mary that three one three number? Was that direct? Was oh, okay, that was just <laughs> for. It like, was for it was for the campaign. It was not his direct number. Please, what did they block me? <laughs> <laughs> be like block. That's bad. <laughs> they get all the votes they could get, but they block you. They're like, I just cannot. We cannot be taken seriously. At all. I cannot. Yes, fine with a good heart. And um he seems authentic. Very authentic. Very. Like yeah. I like if it. I was in Michigan, I would vote for him. Definitely. Nothing. Got new. my vote if I was living in Michigan. <laughs> Y'all know what? Y'all can since we cool. We can use your address. Uh huh. Them stalkers can too. The ones that are not right. <laughs> <laughs> Be useful and quit stalking my ass and and go ahead and 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 get the damn boat out here. Since y'all right. got the by heart, we anyway. in the same damn boat. They got the Addy by heart. Okay. Uh, Might as well put it on down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you at one, that. two, three, Sesame Street. Oh. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me pull up his link. Um, also, yeah, and share his stories and stuff on um, share his stories on um, IG. On, yeah, yeah, I'm about to go on now. Is he on Facebook too? <clears throat> That's what y'all should do. Go follow him on all platforms, and you know. Y'all, y'all know what the melameters do. Activate, activate for Mr. Harper. He need that seat. <clears throat> uh, we need him now. to get that oh, seat. Is he live? He's live. Yeah, he's live now. Oh, he ain't playing. I thought he was gonna go to bed. He was like, yeah, and ain't still got, got talking to do. to do. I got work to do. That's right. See, that shows dedication right there. Real. A hard I worker, and they shadow banned him. That's yeah. what they do too. They y'all got it. Y'all have yeah. to um share his stuff. Yeah, and y'all have to be careful. Like when people, when they do all that shadow banning and stuff, it's for a reason. Yes, certain there's they're certain trying to ideology. keep you from something. Yes, they're yeah, trying to keep you out. from something. Okay, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Thank you to all the content creators in the chat that showed up for us too. Thank, Thank y'all. y'all. Well, so many of y'all. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Sister Sledge, share the interview with your family so that they can um vote too. Yeah. And next up, we're gonna get Obama up on this mo. Yeah. We're gonna see if At we this can point, get I'll take the, the um their dog. Didn't that one dog pass away? Don't they got another? Then they had two dogs. I don't even remember their dogs' names. Right. I don't Y'all remember, remember Obama's dog's name? Wasn't it Benji? Something like that. I don't know, but I know it looked at like um pa- uh Tabitha um brown dog, Blackie. They had a dog like Blackie. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, they did. You're right. Yep. And I see nobody ain't tell um getting jumping um tab with the round DMs to let them know that um Cookie was seeking um looking at blacking. Cookie got enough mm-hmm. boyfriend. Got right. Bulls chasing y'all <laughs> Right. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> y'all yeah. trying to act like Cookie, act like me or something. Like, what are y'all trying to do? A bad influence on Cookie? And it is. Like mother, like daughter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all them bad, all them bad uh, habits. And not right. Not Cookie trying to find a stepdaughter, a stepdaddy for one of her toys. <laughs> <laughs> Child. 
Y'all, we about to get out of here. Y'all are a mess. Going over there. Hill Harper is live right now. Yes. Going over yes. there and speak. Tell them where you just came from. Okay. No. Let them know where y'all coming from. Yes. Didham's uh, picture oh over God. here is cute. Let me see. Bridget got something to say. Let me see. Bridget. <laughs> thank you, Bridget. Thank you, hey, you need to write an inauguration song. For thank you. Bridget, why? Why do you keep doing this to us? Yeah, Bridget, you like gas and tang up. I see. For real. <laughs> Everyone, please donate $3 to his campaign. That's this a good is Don one. Michelle, y'all. <laughs> huh? Make sure this is Don Michelle. Make sure y'all um, donate to the fund, oh, uh, to the know. campaign. Yeah, that's that's Don Michelle. Um, okay. Donate to the campaign www.hillhopper slash one take talk dot com. Stop playing. Right, that's nut. <laughs> there you have it. Okay, we. I'm gonna put all the, the stuff on my um community post too, so you guys can have the phone number, the Michigan voting information. And um, the the website to donate to the campaign. Two, three dollars, it don't matter. If you got it, please yep. do it. And also, Uppity, back to Uppity um, and her fight for her mom with the multiple myeloma. Yes. <clears throat> I said it right. Look at me. Uh, y'all proud? <laughs> mm -hmm. Did y'all see that Hill Harper said that um, a GoFundMe is not... Um, Insurance. Health it's not health insurance. Not health insurance. Yep. So it's it's sad that we have to do these type of things to help our families out when these mm -hmm. type of things happen. Happen. It's crazy, and that's. I mean, I almost got on my soapbox, but I had to retreat because I know he wasn't here for just that. But that's one of the things that irks my nerves, knowing that you pay all this money monthly, yearly, whatever, into insur health insurance, and something happens. And they're like, oh, do you, even if you don't have it, and it's like you, they ask you when, when you're applying, do you have, you know, pre-existing diagnosis, diagnoses? Yeah, I do. Oh, you, you disqualify. You don't, you can't get it. Why? This is what you're here for. They want right. money off the backs of healthy people, but don't want to put the bill for people who need it. Like, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. That's a, and they shouldn't be allowed to do that. Cause they're literally mm -hmm. just collecting money. That part. How often do people even go for physicals? Even if you go for a physical once a year, cause that's how. That's often not enough. You still, you're not making, you're not putting out as much. The cost for the physical isn't what you put in for the year. I bet you right. that. Yeah, it you're, isn't. You're just working <clears throat> over money. Yeah, it's BS, and she should. Yes, have Karma been. Girl, they get you on pre-existing. Yep. Yeah, that, and that, that shouldn't be a thing. That that should mean that they give it to you faster. Okay, right. yeah, let's give you this temporary, and then we'll go through the rest of the what you know whatever we need to figure out, and then we'll, right. we'll figure it all out. That should. Yes, uh, but he also yes, he did have cancer as well. He did? Yeah. Hill Harper did? Yeah, he had cancer too. Let me see. I, I didn't know that. Yeah, he had cancer too. And then you notice he said his father passed of cancer as well. Mm. Wow, I did not know he was a cancer survivor. Yeah. Wow, ain't that something? Let me see what kind. Up to you know what kind? Because he did have cancer. I remember that. He had thyroid cancer. Wow. Okay. Okay. Mm. Yep. He had thyroid cancer. Indeed. It. Thank you, Candy. Yep. Okay. All right. So we're going to get ready to get up out of here. Like I said, you guys in Michigan, please make sure you vote, 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 register to vote. You can register to vote up until the day of voting. Okay. And you can also um, vote in a, what is it? Preliminary? Pl primary. Primary. Mm 
Mm-hmm. You can vote in a primary as long as you will be 18 by the time November 5th comes. Yeah. Okay. So if you'll be 18 by November 5th, you can vote in the primary um, August 6th. And you can also vote if you are on probation, if you're in jail awaiting trial. Um, There's several other uh, caveats that he said that I think people think that, you know, they can't vote. And that's not true. If you're in jail, you can vote like you there's you can vote. Michigan has really good voting laws. Absentee uh, absentee ballots up until nine days um, before the election are accepted. Mm-hmm. And those places they have them where you can drop them off at churches, schools, all type mm-hmm. of stuff. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. All right, guys. Thank so thank y'all. you guys again for joining us. Um, Hill Harper for U.S. Senate for Michigan, and we're out. Bye. Bye. Thank you everybody for the super chats as well. Oh my gosh. Ew. Hold on, Tony. Huh? Hold on, Tony. Hold on. What'd you say? I said, hold on, Tony. Hold on, baby.